Hey, what's good? It's your boy G Marcus TV back with a brand new video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we are finally here at the season finale. We are here. We had the 10th episode. This is the season finale of And Just Like That. This episode was actually good. Like I said, the last couple of episodes have been really good for this show, which is really funny. It's like, how the hell y'all ended off good? But start off crappy. I'm gonna start doing small recaps for you guys. Cause shout out to all you guys out there that DM'd me and commented. Like, yeah, these recaps, we don't need to know every single freaking detail. We don't need to know that they pissed on the sidewalk, that they went and cooked some noodles. It's like, yo, alright, I got you. I took your criticism, so I decided to shorten it up. I'm giving you guys more shorter recaps and I'm gonna give you guys like more insight, more what I'm really thinking about the episode. So let's get straight to it. So, Carrie goes on a date with the new guy. She walks into the crib and he gives her a kiss. But before giving her the kiss, he asks for permission. I was like, really, dog? I was just like, why would you? I was like, they made him corny. I was like, I like the dude prior, but once he did that, like, you asked for permission. It's like, dude, you got to be mysterious, bro. You can't be on some, like, I would like to kiss you. Like, oh, I would like to hug you. It was like, no. It's like, what the hell is right now? Y'all just had a good time. You feel the vibes, feel the girl out. And if it's feeling like it, go for it. If it's not feeling like it. So, of course, she was not feeling that at all. Because if you guys know, Carrie likes the bad boy. The good guy never works with Carrie. So, of course, she had to drag this shit out. She actually texted Samantha again. I was like, oh, Lord, let the girl rest in peace. She texted Samantha. They had a little small conversation. And then she asked Samantha if she wanted to talk. And then Samantha just says, soon. I was like, really? He's just like, leave this girl alone. Like, this is why this f***ing show is not that good. So Miranda meets up with Shay, and Shay introduces her to the family, and Shay is just doing stand-up, and she ends up singing the song, but I'm just like, what the hell? Like, you go from a stand-up comedian to, like, to remaking people's songs? I'm like, what the hell is this? But Shay makes an announcement, basically saying that she's going to LA because they offered her a show, and she didn't want to say nothing right away. She didn't want to say nothing until it was actually set in stone, so... She wants Miranda to come with her. Miranda makes the decision. She's going to go with Shay to LA and she drops the internship. Something that she was working really hard at where she was with the new professor, the new character on the show. I'm just like, wow, you a real sucker for love. This girl you just met. I'm like, wow. So, of course, Shay had to give up the podcast. So, the podcast owner gave Carrie her own show. So, now Carrie is the main person on the show. Now, Shay is gone and the co-worker is gone. So, now it's just boring Carrie. I was just like... Carrie by herself? Nah. So later on, the co-worker that's leaving, he basically has an engagement party where everybody is there. So he announces the engagement. Nice little party. And Carrie and the owner, they actually flirt with each other. So I'm just like, okay, I see where this is going. So she's going to end up with this. They have a little nice bar mitzvah for Charlotte, her husband, and the daughter. It was a nice little party that they have. Nice, like, they, the budget was really high for this. The daughter was being a brat, of course, that she didn't really want to perform. So the parents are just on her. It's like, yo, you gotta do this. Like, what the hell is going on? Miranda eventually tells Carrie, like, yo, well, you know, I'm about to leave. I'm about to go to LA for Shay. Tell her what's going on. And Carrie was not with it. But Carrie turned it all about her. She made it all about her, where it's just like, oh, why would you do this? Miranda's just like, why I can't be happy for once? Like, why, you know, I was always the good girl. I always did right. Like, I'm following love. So Carrie, there was just a whole back and forth that they was having and Carrie was just like, yo, you shouldn't give a damn what I think. Do what you gotta do. You shouldn't care what I think. And Miranda's just like, yo, I do care what you think. You're my best friend, basically. Like, I do. It's just like, hey, do you. It's like, you already violated my Steve, which is really f up and I'm just like how my dude Steve didn't even come in the last episode but the thing is that was funny about it Charlotte was actually happy for her oh, I love me some Charlotte I'm telling you Charlotte after Samantha of course Samantha is no longer with us I miss Samantha so much after Samantha Charlotte is my favorite I love freaking Charlotte Miranda is leaving to go to LA she dyed her hair back to red in the original show Sex in the City her hair was actually red, and then this one is gray as hell, so she actually dyed it back to red. Someone was just like, why would you do that? She was just like, she just want, want to go back to her roots, and yeah, she just leaves for LA. So the show ends off, and I'm just like, oh, it was kind of cute. Mr. Biggs' brother, which is Carrie's husband, had died. They had dinner together. She basically decided to go to Paris and dump his ashes in the Paris River. I'm just like, interesting, that's some real fancy Gonna travel all the way to Paris to do that. I was like, okay, I, I respect that. That was cool. So what I did not like about this 
uh, Carrie texted Samantha was like, hey, you know, want to go out for a drink? And Samantha says tomorrow. So I was just like, why are y'all teasing Samantha coming back? Samantha's not coming back. Samantha is not f***ing with Carrie. So it ends off with Carrie. She's just at the podcast station, which is Sex and the City. And the owner's there. They walk to the elevator. they just talking a little bit. And they end up kissing in the elevator as the elevator is closing. I was like, okay, that was entertaining. It was very expected. So you want to really just dump the teacher, which is like the typical Carrie. This was actually a good episode. Like I was like, wow, like you guys ended it. It wasn't no bang. It ended with no, no crazy bang, but it was a good episode. I will give this episode basically seven and a half to an eight. They need to really build these characters more. Miranda and Shay is going really strong. I love how they building. Charlotte's best friend is just like the new best friend. They're not really giving her some good sh to do good sh to say. I'm just like, I feel like they just had her there as a little replacement for Samantha. It's just like, they didn't really do much well. I mean, I feel like I've seen her in other sh before. She's a really good actress. Really, really good. Build more. Like, do more with this character. I feel like they're not doing sh I definitely would like to see more of Charlotte and the husband in the next season. Because I'm just like, I like them as a couple. I like the characters. I like the actors that play them. Build more in this Make it more than just about the kid, just confused about the identity. Make more about it. Tell me what you guys think about the season finale. Tell me what you guys think about the review. Let me know what's up, what stood out to you, what was interesting. Thank you guys for watching me. Thank you guys for supporting me. And thank you all you guys that DM'd me and commented like, yo, make these recaps shorter. Thank you guys. Definitely took note and definitely thank you for your criticism. Thank you guys. Love you guys. It's your boy G Marcus TV signing off. Got it. That's a wrap.